During the month of December, the high school basketball season is dominated with non-conference matchups, including the game that Master Control is rolling right about now. The Menominee Maroons travel to West Ishpeming to pay the Westwood Patriots a visit. Towards the end of the first quarter, Westwood Shayna Calgary throws an absolute perfect pass down low to Emily Carlson, who lays it up and lays it in. The Pats led by three after one. Not much offense for Menominee in the first quarter, but the second was a different story. Madison McDonald tickles the twine from downtown the left side. A little later, Morgan Roman kicks it over to Paige Barrett for three, and that's going to be bad news for the Pats as Barrett knocks it down. Menominee not done yet either from downtown. McDonald from the right wing this time, and she's going to get a little help from the rim as well as the glass for three more points. But the Maroons up 12-4. Just before the half, the Patriots looking for any kind of points they can get. A three-point shot here is short, but there. Lacey Petro underneath the hoop for the basket, plus the foul. Petro completed the three-point play, but in the end, Menominee held off Westwood 26-20 for the road win. In other girls' high school hoops action this evening, the Sioux escaped Escanaba with a 66-60 win. Escanaba's Michelle Lefebvre had 30 points and 13 rebounds in the loss, and Kingsford was a touchdown better than Norway, thanks to a game-high 16 points from Maria Wiltsius. The boys' basketball season began tonight. It's that time of the year already. My goodness. Lakeland and Hubbles. Lucas Klein had 20 points in the Lakes win over Barriga. Ontonagan squeaked by Ewan Trout Creek 63-62. Taylor Boudry had 27 points, including five three-pointers in the win. Speaking of winning, Westwood doubled up West Iron County for the W. Luke Gray and Mitch Messing each had 15 points for the Pats as head coach Chad Hewitt picks up his first win. Houghton behind 25 points for Nate Gockenbach as the Gremlins made 11 threes in the game in their victory over at Northland Pines. In other scores, it was Calumet 50, Hancock 42. Carney Nato defeated Rapid River at 48-24. Big Bay to knock opened up its campaign with a nine point win at Superior Central and North Central put up the high score of the night 90 points and a win over Stevenson. The Jets, while well, they're going to score a lot this season, had five guys in double figures on the ice tonight. Escanaba hosted Nagani at the always fun and entertaining Wells Sports Complex. Five minutes into the game, Gavin Schwabach feeds Dylan Gauthier in front. Gauthier's second whack at the puck finds the back of the net. One nothing Eskimos. Later in the first, Escanaba on a power play. Calvin Pinar puts a wrist shot on goal, and that gets by Anthony Moy on the glove side to make it 2-0 Eski. Under a minute left in the first, Levi Wonder, there he is, goes across the ice with the puck to Pinar, who scores his second goal of the period, 3-0 Eski after one. In the second, Escanaba gets a penalty shot opportunity. Levi Wonder gets a chance to light the lamp and watch what he does here. The deke, the shot, oh, <laughs> the score. Flat out filthy for Mr. Wonder. Escanaba, your winner, 9-1. to one.